Hi there guys, this is Roscoe and welcome to my review of the Pop Culture Shock Collectibles Conan War Paint Exclusive. I just picked this piece up yesterday. I had an order through Pop Culture here in Australia. They seem to have got them a little bit earlier than what Pop Culture Shock was sending them out worldwide. So I thought it was quite unusual, but happy to finally have them in the collection. Uh, this is limited to 275, I believe, and this is number 61. It's 1 3 scale, and it looks absolutely amazing, guys. Now, for those of you who don't know, this also comes in a clean version. It comes without the war paint and the natural skin tone, uh, which replicates the, the more iconic scene where he's brought back to life and he starts swinging his sword around. They've kept that same pose, and this is basically a variant um, with the war paint look and the different styled hair, which looks dead on accurate to Arnold. They both do. Comes in a few pieces, you get the sword, the Atlantean sword here, for the blood splatter, which I feel has done quite well. All over his hand. It looks natural, doesn't look dabbed on. So it's those few black dots on the end there. So you slide that through the hand, and this little piece here, uh, you push on once it's slid through the the fist. Then you get the whole body, this is all connected. It's all one piece. And then you get the base. Let's go took, take a look at the sculpt. That looks 100% accurate in my opinion, guys. The eyes have done extremely well. Even got the red around the edges. The body shape. I think this one piece, Arnold said that he didn't want changed. He thought it was perfect straight away. That's what I heard. It looked at that good straight away, so. These are all like suede. Got like, like a plasticky artificial straps. Got his necklace. That's already on him when you get unbox him. And what I also like about the wall paint other than all the wall paint on him is his outfit. He's got that really woolly outfit. That's very iconic to the film. He's always wearing some kind of animal. Suede pants, quite thin. And his boots are all suede as well. And it locks into the base. There's two pegs. This one here has the actual uh, metal rod and a peg. This one just has the peg. And they slot in very nicely. The base replicates that marble scene, the orgy scene where they go in to get the princess from Falsa Doom, or they try to get her back. It looks good, but I think it's a little bit rough in some aspects. Um, there's some little scuffs here and there, which looks like their factory have repaired. Um, they got this is like a fabric as well. This strap around here. When you look at certain parts, of it, it sort of looks, you know. A little bit rough with the finish around the edges here. It's not too bad. But once they painted the top, they put a clear coat. And certain aspects around the, the clear coat sort of runs around the edge in some parts. So, yeah, base could be done a little bit, or had a little bit more refinement, I should say. But looking at it as it is now, you'll never notice.
absolutely awesome piece. So iconic. I've wanted an Arnold's Conan piece since the Sideshow one was brought out, but I just never got around to buying it. And I'm glad I didn't now because this is just another level in my opinion. Let's go take a look at the other side of this guy's awesome looking body. Alright, here we have the rear view of the statue. Still the blood on the hand on the other side. Wall paint's been done really well. I don't think it doesn't look like it's standing out too much. It does come out that way in picture, but it's a soft black. It's not really a jet black, which you know, it looks a little bit over the top. All the muscle definition. Comes with a sheath as well for his sword. It's quite heavy. Not sure if I've got that in the right spot. There's not really any instructions to show where that goes. Unfortunately, I've just looped it over the belt so it stays nice and flat. It did have a bend in it already when you unbox it. Uh, so I've slid it over the belt. I might go on that little rubber piece or the little strap piece at the front. I'm not sure yet. Wait to see what others do with it when they get it. Yeah, it's an awesome looking statue. Quite surprised it came so early. Um, I thought these would have been a long time in the making. It's my first pop culture shot piece. And I've got the clean one on order as well, with the you know more brushed back hairstyle and the natural body tone without the blood and the war paint. And it doesn't come with this either, or the sheath, I don't think. A little bit more simpler but you know I think they're both a must-have for if you're an Arnie fan and I've definitely got their rainbow in order as well which I can't wait for here we have the art box that this awesome statue comes in uh, it's strange they didn't actually put the wall paint figure or statue on the actual art box they've used the regular art box um, and all I've done is added the wall paint exclusive heading underneath one three scale statue so I think that's the only difference between the two I haven't got the first one yet or this one here um, to compare but I'm assuming the box will be identical but yeah, it would be nice if it had a different had the different statue on it but that's what we get it's surprisingly not too big um, I was expecting a lot bigger for this piece. It's very, very shallow. The box isn't very wide at all. Um, see my hand here. So it's not overly big. Give it a turn around. See the, um, see once again, we've got the statue there. On the back, we've got a closer up view of the clean version. Just another view on the side of the clean version again. So yeah, they've used what looks of it the same box for both. They just reprinted a different heading on the other side of this for the wall paint exclusive. Yeah, now there's no chance of really any coming damage to this. It's boxed really well. Um, the shiver box has foam that surrounds this. So even if the shiver box gets a a good whack there's foam surrounding this to protect the art box which is really nice once you slide the foam out which is good quality polystyrene uh, you slide that out it actually has velcro velcro straps it's not actually taped up like a sideshow piece or uh, other companies do um, so it's very collector friendly uh, you can undo the straps remove the, the lid and then take the statue out and re-box it exactly how it was put in in the first place without the need for more tape and they can be tightened quite securely. So that's all quite nice. Everything's wrapped up inside with plastic. Um, you get a little certificate letting you know the number of the piece, which I'll show you shortly. Um, and you even get a set of gloves, uh, cotton gloves to handle the piece so you don't put your sweaty you know, 
hands that could possibly damage the piece in time um, with the acid on your fingers and stuff like that. So that's good, they give you some sort of gloves for archival reasons, I suppose. They stop any greasy fingerprints. So never had that from another company before, so that's awesome to, to have. All right, here he is again, guys. The one three scale Conan wall paint exclusive from Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. Really glad I got this. I think it's sold out. It was quite popular. I know Pop Culture here in Australia got a few extras. They surprisingly, which they did sell out, they surprisingly got some more in. There's some still available. So if you still want this, uh, get it quick. There's probably a few left. And I think the price is pretty good considering what you get. Here's one thing I wanted to show you before we finish up. There's the little exclusive certificate you get. See, so mine's number 61. Uh, so yeah, that's something a little bit extra. There is, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video of this awesome piece. Catch you guys later.